Okay, on this example, we have a circle of radius nine feet, and we wanna know what angle would subtend an arc of length seven feet. So we need a formula for this. The formula we're gonna utilize is S equals R times theta. And theta is going to be in radians, that's important. All right, so when you look at a picture, what's going on here is this angle that covers this part, we're just gonna call that theta. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. And then S, that's the distance from here to here along the outside of the, the circle. All right, so as we take a look at this, some of this information is given to us and some isn't. So on a circle of radius nine feet, so we have nine feet. Um, that part's given to us. We don't know theta, we wanna know the angle. And then we know this uh, would subtend an arc of length seven feet. That's telling us S is gonna be seven feet. So let's fill that all into the formula we have over on the right-hand side. So we have seven feet equals nine feet times theta. So to get theta all by itself, we just need to divide by nine feet. So divide both sides by nine feet. Puts theta on one side all by itself. And this will be nine or seven ninths radians because theta is always in radians. Uh, if for this formula to work out right, we should say. Um, what if we were asked for our solution to be in degrees though? All right, so this is just a conversion between radians and degrees. So we would start with our seven ninths radians and we'd need to multiply this by a conversion factor where our goal would be to get rid of the radians. So I'll set those up in the denominator as they started in the numerator and I wanna end up with degrees. So this is important that we know that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. So to multiply these through, what's gonna happen is our radians, numerator and denominator get to cancel out, which is nice. And then we will multiply numerators and multiply denominators. So we have seven times 180 degrees is 1260. And our units on this are gonna be in degrees. That's what didn't cancel out. And then nine times pi. That's an exact answer. We can get a little bit more reduced, better exact answer um, because the numerator is a multiple of nine and the denominator is as well. So we can reduce down by taking out a nine. So we can say 140 degrees over pi or 140 over pi degrees. Uh, what if we were asked for an approximation? Well, we went from an exact answer, both in radians and degrees. Now to get an approximation, what I'd probably do is just get the calculator out, do 140 divided by pi. Um, on my calculator, that's above my exponent button. So I have to do like a second and then a shift, uh, like a second and then my exponent button. I got this to be 44.56 degrees approximately. So um, hopefully this helps you in filling into this formula, getting used to, to it. Now, if our angle was not given in radians, or if we were trying to find one of these other components, either the, uh, the length around the outside here or the radius, um, if we were given the, the uh, theta, this central angle, what you'd wanna do is make sure it's in radians first, Perhaps you'll have to do a conversion from degrees to radians going the opposite direction. All right, good luck to you on these. See you next time.